All right, welcome to the donut kitchen. On a request from Adam, you can see this is the Nerf corner. Ryobi. Packouts. And this thing, look. So, oh yeah, the video is gonna be awful because I'm holding it in my left hand. Ooh, look at there. So, uh, Kelly Plus Motors, uh, Plus Day Brakes, 5S Ryobi batteries. These will work. The bigger ones will work. These are just lighter. Neutron solenoid, double relay module. So, trigger, original drill trigger. Doesn't press now because the switch is in safety. This is single fire. Uh, supposed to be. I might have might have double tapped it there. The dual stage trigger is still iffy. Press it the other way. Yeah. Does it burst? All right. Okay. Now we awkwardly put a mag in. I edit. There we go. Oh yeah. I put a mag release on fly cord. Bag release, uh, very modified. All right, we're gonna go back down the hallway a bit to be less noisy to the rest of the place. So, uh, single stage firing, or single fire. Ooh. Okay. Burst, which should be eight, so I had 22 darts in here, now I have 20, whatever, uh, that might have been 8, counting is hard, I'll just do it again, so now in theory I have 4 left, which I'm just going to count because that's kind of loud for indoors, but it's cold as shit outside. Yeah, there are four left. That was an eight round burst. We got this on top, which is a quick slash Stemma QT I2C connector where I can connect a rotor encoder and an OLED for messing with settings. But the problem is the settings don't save and I can't unplug it without it rebooting, so it's kind of awkward. I just don't have a good place to put the screen right now. But, yeah, that, that, that's the thing.